Hello guys, welcome to Watching Time. Today we're going to discuss what I think were probably the biggest mistakes that Tudor has actually done in the last few years. So what we're talking about, we're talking about Tudor. Tudor is a brand that I think has really done well over the last few years, has really monopolized on the famousness of their sister brand Rolex and has managed to go on a different pathway, show us different watches and totally make recognize Tudor as a brand that it's its own, not something that it's uh, just a cheaper Rolex. So coming from a brand that has had many successful new things during 2020, 2021, I just wanted to highlight the two of them that I think were the biggest mistakes that they have done. They could have probably taken another decision. They could have uh, maybe maintained some of the things that were going on. So what I'm talking about, I'm talking about two watches in particular, two watches that were discontinued, discontinued in 2021. So you will not find them anymore in their catalog in their websites, in any shop that actually was selling Tudor. And I'm talking about the Tudor North Flag, probably one of my favorite watches, and the Tudor Black Bay Heritage Ranger. Well, let's take out the Black Bay, the Heritage Ranger. But it looks a lot like a Black Bay um, in shape, of the case, I mean, and also the, the lag to lag, which is the same 22 for the straps. So it's actually interchangeable with the straps that you will normally mount on a Black Bay. So it's definitely a thinner case. It's not as high. It works different. Let's discuss about them. So as I was saying, Tudor took them out of the, of the catalog. It's not anymore possible to buy them. These are two watches that had little let's say recognition from the fans, from the Tudor new lovers. And I would say new lovers because uh, it's actually the marketing campaign that they have done for the last four and five years that has created a new sector, a new, let's say, characteristic of people that are now following Tudor and now have become Tudor fans. I'm going to release this video today, which is the 24th of May. Uh, also waiting to what's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow, Tudor is going to launch a new watch, another one. It's Some people are saying it's going to be the Tudor uh, Marine National. I went today to the boutique and they told me, well, maybe it isn't, maybe it's something else. So I don't really know what to expect tomorrow. We will see. But definitely what they have done is the mistake of taking these two watches out of their catalog and i will tell you both guys why first of all we have here the tudor ranger heritage so what's the tudor ranger here you can see it on the on the nato strap it actually at the start of of because this is a watch that has been there for quite a long time uh, at the start it it actually was one of the watches that came with two straps so either you had the leather or you had the, uh, and you also had the NATO. So the NATO was the extra one. Uh, since 2016, 17, more or less, no, it was 17, I think. Later, 17, 17 18, uh, Tudor decided to not sell their watches anymore with two straps. So the NATO, that was actually the, let's say the present, even if you were charged for it, has become um, a strap on its own. So if you want the NATO, you buy it on the NATO. If you want the leather, you buy it on the leather. They don't give you an extra strap. So this has been the politics for the last few years. And, and before this was the NATO that was part of the bundle with the, with the Ranger. So anyway, uh, I have it here with the NATO, but I bought it extra. So actually this is the bone strap, uh, Ranger, um, I just don't have my bone strap right now to show it to you guys, but it's actually quite nice, fantastic uh, material, but also the color that it's this camel kind of brown. Um, and luckily for me, I took it to repair because I, they had to repair something on the clasp. So I'm wearing it right now on the NATO, but the NATO, particularly this NATO camouflage, and you can see all the different type 
of stitches that, that they have used. It's actually fantastic. The color, it's very, very nice. And it actually suits very well this Ranger. And, and I don't really know <laughs> what they were thinking about for a Tudor Rolexes uh, watch to have a camouflage NATO, but this suits perfectly. So we are talking on an homage, seems like an homage of a Rolex Explorer. Actually, it's an homage of the Ranger that was produced uh, by Tudor in the 1960s. Uh, that was actually very similar to their big brother Rolex uh, Explorer. Um, but it has some difference that, on my point of view, put it on another level. So first of all, you don't have the the crown the, and the marker here of Rolex. So not having the triangular marker, it definitely makes it a different watch, having the 12 Arabic numeral. You have the old Tudor logo with the rose, as you can see, very, very nicely done. You have two hands, two set of hands, the hour and the minute hands that are totally different to the ones that we are used from uh, Tudor. And it's actually a reference to the vintage uh, model. I'm going to try to put one of the vintage rangers here for you to see. And you will realize that this is actually a very nicely well done um, homage to their own model. It's actually quite similar they have not changed many things actually mostly nothing uh only the size so this is a 41 millimeters uh watch so it wears like a black bay um for me this is perfect this is the perfect size i will show you guys on my wrist um but uh, for some other people it was too big it's definitely bigger than the 39 rolex explorer here you have it on all glory. I cannot describe how well this NATO strap actually fits on your hand. Compared to one of the NATO straps that I have from one of my black bays, actually the GMT, this one it's it's nicely done, it's good quality obviously always, but it feels it feels thinner. This one, on the other hand, the one that the camouflage, maybe because of all this patterns that were stitched to the strap, it feels thicker, much thicker, and actually renders the watch, as you can see how it works, it works like a, a double passing NATO almost. So it, it works definitely better. Let's see on my wrist. So this is a 41 mil, this is my 18 centimeter wrist, and as you can see guys, I think that's a perfect measure. This type of dial, the 12, 6, uh, 3 and 9, they actually uh, look very nice, it's a big dial for this watch as the bezel is very, very thin and small. So it's definitely nothing that is going to perturb your eyes. And at the same time, it makes it really, really visible when you want to see the time. So it's actually a technical tool watch and it works very, very well. On the other hand, we have, and you can see one of my old videos review, my Tudor Norflag integrated bracelet. In this case, the steel breast, stainless steel bracelet. There is also one, uh, they, they released one with a sailor cloth kind of uh, strap. Very, very nicely done. The case, it reminds you of many of the models that now are becoming famous. Uh, for example, the Tissot PRX, uh, the Zenit Defy. It reminds me a lot of the case, the integrated case. Definitely a, an interesting reference to the 70s. It's an Explorer watch on its own. And you have the 12 and the 6, but you lack the 9 and you lack the 3 that are replaced for the date and uh, the, the amount of charge. This has a 70 hours charge. Oh, by the way, this is the first in-house movement of Tudor that was presented actually on the North flag. So this is a, a very important watch in terms of history of Tudor watches. On the other hand, the Tudor Ranger, that it's an older watch, it has inside a normal ETA 2824, nothing more, nothing less, obviously regulated and decorated by Tudor, but it's not a chronometer certified. This one it is. And the North flag uh, definitely is one of my favorite watches, uh, not only because of the wearability, the beautiful of it on my wrist, but also the small details that actually make the difference. The use of the yellow color on the second hands and also on the reserve charge, it's actually very nice. It it renders it a uh, tool watch 
the the lume that they have used is excellent uh, and i enjoy really uh, looking at it at night uh, and it it's the first and not anymore only tudor watch with an open case back you can see it's fantastic to actually be able to see the manufacturer movement the first time that it was built on a tudor watch so you have here the 5621 and as you know, it's it's not a big in detail movement, but I actually enjoy seeing it. And I now with the Black Bay 58, and that's actually one of the big successes that they have done this year between the silver and the gold case. Uh, both of them are open. So they are reminding me of what they did here with the North flag. So coming back to what they have done. Oh, here it has a, an inner ring, an external ring that is made of ceramic. That is fantastic. So this is a tool watch this is a watch that is designed for you to have an adventure so what tudor has actually done is that they have taken out from their catalog both the tool watches that they have at this point they don't have any more tool watches they have the royale which is a dressy watch if you want to put it on another way they have the black base the different black base and including the 58 Plus they have the Pelagos and uh, and the, the not the rain, but I, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, you have the Black Bay line and they are all divers. They are not tool watches. So with this move that seems not important, they have actually done something very important. They have taken out of their catalogs their tool watches. No more tool watches for Tudor for now. Maybe tomorrow they will be releasing a tool watch. And that was the big surprise. And it's not a Marine National. So I don't know, guys, what's really going to happen tomorrow. But anyway, I wanted to discuss about these two watches that I am really, really fond of. I really like this Ranger, how it wears. They are similar because they are both inspired by a kind of Explorer watch from Rolex. But at the same time, they have a totally different DNA. They are different and they showcase a different time from Tudor. I don't really understand why people didn't like the North flag. I love it. Integrated bracelet way ahead of time of this new fashion of integrated bracelets that we are seeing in 2021. And it's a fantastic watch it has an open movement it has a manufactured movement for the first time but i don't know sometimes marketing makes the trends and i know this is a watch that tudor was not selling well anymore people you wouldn't even find it on the tudor uh, authorized dealers because they were not ordering it people were not ordering it obviously if you don't present it to the people people didn't even knew that this watch exists but Tudor was recognized by the Black Bay and the Black Bay and the resemblance that it has to uh, their big brother Submariner was maybe one of the main appealings that Tudor was offering to the people, a cheaper Submariner. When Tudor had things that were totally out of the scheme, totally different, not totally, totally, because this reminds you a lot of an explorer, but they had their own, their own thing going on. You will not find an explorer from Rolex with this NATO. You will not find it with this big dial and the full numbers. The crown characteristic of Black Base coming out with a, a very nicely done rose matte finish on the on the crown. Guys, I I really don't understand why they choose, and this is the reason why I think this were the biggest mistake that Tudor have done. Tudor should have put a little bit more on effort on showcasing these watches and maybe relaunching in a correct way these two watches. Relaunching and tool watch. They have to have a tool watch. Tudor, if you're listening to this video, please bring back a tool watch. You need one in your, in your line. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope you like this video. Um, see you very, very soon in another one. Until then, bye-bye.